to ensure economic growth starts with individual families. The Maprik District Development Authority is taking the lead in implementing the breadwinner model concept in its district. Maprik District Administrator Joshua Himina said financial literacy is the way forward for the people. Mr. Himina said to make sure every family lives above the poverty line of 7 kina 90 toya per day, educating them on money management skills through financial inclusion trainings is the district's main focus. Our drive in terms of our economic intervention is basically to take back those families that are living below the poverty line, to make sure that they have sufficient disposable income in one day. Above 7 kina is better. Himina said in Maprik, the financial literacy trainings are facilitated by the Bank of South Pacific and the National Development Bank. The training is provided by the district for its people and is hosted monthly at the Maprik District Resource Center, free of charge. He is encouraging the people of his district to make use of this free service for the benefit of their families and to improve individuals' money management skills. I'm trying my best to look at how my administration, in terms of delivering the programs in support to our member from Africa, the programs that we are running, how do we live? How do we make sure that we leave no one behind in Africa? That's the biggest question in terms of looking at the sustainable development goals. Himina said teaching them saving culture is the most important aspect of the breadwinner model concept, which focuses on improving family units, by providing much-needed financial trainings. Florence John Duo, National MTV News.